Hello guys, July here again with another episode. So the topic of today is the rules about account sharing and multi-logging, and more specifically how they have evolved over the course of the years. So before I get started, it's perhaps wise to clarify something. So usually when people make videos on this topic, it's because something happened recently, that's not the case here. So if there is or was something relevant going on recently, then that's just a coincidence. I wanted to talk about account sharing and multi-logging today because I feel like the topic kind of lends itself towards this podcast format, so it felt like the right timing to do this now. Given that I won't be making these podcasts forever, because I do intend to switch back to normal videos at some point. So in the previous podcast episodes, I already discussed several community aspects of the RuneScape 1 era. And that includes several problems that arose and how moderators try to deal with that. So today we're going to look at all three game eras. So we'll begin with RuneScape 1 and then work our way towards RuneScape 3 and Old School RuneScape as well to get some sort of idea of how the rules pertaining to account sharing and multi-logging have evolved since the launch of RuneScape in January of 2001. And Jagex has indeed changed their stance on this uh, over the course of the years, by the way. So let's start with account sharing, which obviously creates a significant advantage when trying to achieve certain goals or when competing in the high scores or just when collecting resources, etc. So back in 2001, even before there was Jagex as a company, there were only a few people who moderated the game. Two of them were Andrew and Paul Goer as the co-creators of RuneScape, but both of them were incredibly busy developing RuneScape. So as explained in previous episodes, Andrew and Paul were assisted by several first-generation moderators, but there were only a handful of them. So in total there weren't that many people to moderate the community. And that is also why game moderation was initially more lenient and a little more was allowed, but account sharing was not one of those things, however. Andrew cared that people broke rules, mainly if other players suffered from it, if it had an impact on the game, such as bug abuse, or if it affected Andrew personally. This last category includes anything that either cost Andrew money or that decreased the game's revenue. Keep in mind that was extremely important to Andrew because he initially funded the game all by himself and that is where account sharing comes into play. Here's why. If two or more people share an account, that account is likely locked on for a longer time in comparison with other players, which also means that more bandwidth is being used for a single account. At least that is true if we assume that those players would not otherwise have spent an equal amount of time on other accounts, but there was no way to figure that out, so it made sense for Andrew to reason that account sharing equaled higher bandwidth usage and therefore also higher costs for Andrew. That is one important reason why Andrew could not let account sharing slide when he was still funding the game all by himself and with minimal revenue from ads by the way, as the community wasn't extremely big yet in the first months of RuneScape's existence. Money stopped being a concern near the end of 2001 when Andrew co-founded Jagex and appointed Constant Tether as the first CEO of Jagex. Uh, who would then help fund RuneScape until the launch of the membership service just a few months later in February of 2002. So now you may think, okay, so money is no longer a problem, which means bandwidth isn't really anymore either, so that means account sharing is no longer a problem, right? Well, no. Here's the deal. The launch of the membership feature in 2002 actually meant that there was a new reason to oppose account sharing. And this is why, so if a member account was being shared by, for example, two players, that means that Jagex probably lost out on a second membership subscription if we assume that the second player would otherwise have created their own account to play on, instead of using someone else's account. So for that reason, account sharing remained absolutely not tolerated by Jagex, but it was not always easy to prove that an account was being shared, because players who knew each other in real life could both easily play from the same IP address to make it look like the account was being used by only one person. Take Zongi, for example. He was a famous RuneScape 1 player. Wait, let me spell it quickly. So that is Z-O-N-G-H-U-I, Zongi. And he was a famous RuneScape 1 player, especially in 2002, who was often accused of account sharing due to his fast XP gains in the combat skills. According to some players, the account sharing was quite obvious. 
In fact, the stream of reports at some point in the first months of 2002 got either Andrew or Paul to take a closer look at Songi's account, and he was eventually given a temporary ban of just one week, which suggests that the evidence for account sharing was circumstantial at best. But this is just to point out that account sharing was already a, well, sort of hot topic back in the first years of RuneScape. So by 2002, several relevant rules had already been published in Jagex's terms and conditions, such as, and I'm going to read what it said, each account should only be used by one person. Account sharing is not allowed. You must not sell, transfer, share, or lend your account to anyone else. You may not accept an account which somebody else offers you. And that's the end of the quote, so that's one rule. Then the next rule said, you may create more than one RuneScape account, but if you do, you may not log in more than one account at any time, and they must not interact with each other in any way. Using one account to drop objects for transfers to another of your accounts is not allowed. So the second rule pertains more to multi-logging, but these two rules also indicated that Jagex took account sharing very seriously, even in 2002 already. So then the second rule that I just read also suggests that the concern of extra bandwidth usage was still on Jagex's mind after the launch of the membership feature, uh, which would obviously be a logical reason to prohibit not only account sharing, but also multi-logging or being logged in on more than one account at the same time. So multi-logging was viewed as a problem in any situation in which the player could gain an unfair advantage from it, compared with other players who use only one account, such as trading wealth from one account to another, or using a second account to turn a solo activity into an easier duo activity. Skilled PKers, because mind you, the community revolved around PvP at the time, so skilled PKers might even have been able to gain an advantage from engaging in PvP on two accounts at the same time as well. So as the rule mentioned, also drop trading items from one account to another was not allowed. That seems harsh, but that was probably included in the rule due to the risk that the items had been obtained from multi-logging, so that would have given an unfair advantage. Uh, also keep in mind that obtaining resources in general was a lot more time-consuming and just a lot more inconvenient in the RuneScape 1 era, so, so I guess it means that multi-logging in the RuneScape 1 era was an even bigger advantage than it was in the later years. So to prevent interaction between two or more multi-logged accounts, Jagex and RuneScape 1 already put in place a system that blocks multiple clients from entering the same world if they share the same IP address, and that system is still in effect today. Anyway, those rules would remain in effect for at least several years. So then by the end of the RS1 era, it was clear as crystal that both account sharing and multi-logging, both of which can be used to help people gain unfair advantages, were always against the rules, there were no exceptions. And that's the main difference with today, but I will get back to that later. The exact punishment when getting caught violating any of those rules in RuneScape 1 is not known. But later in RuneScape 2, players would at least sometimes, and perhaps even often or always, be handed a permanent ban if there was evidence of the account being shared between multiple players. A notable player who received a permanent ban that way was You Love Me in 2008, that's spelled U-L-O-V-E-M-E, -E, with no spaces. So just three words combined into one. So You Love Me in 2008 was given a permanent ban after admitting to having shared the account with her husband. That was a significant event because at that time You Love Me had achieved 1 billion total XP as only the second account ever to do so after Zedzima. And the account was also rank 1 in the high scores for a few weeks in 2006. So in this case, it was clear that sharing the account had given You Love Me an unfair advantage, as it had allowed her or them to gain ranks in the high scores at a much faster pace, etc. So the ban suggests that there was a zero tolerance policy for anyone who competed for ranks in the high scores. Uh, but I assume that this is something that most of you probably already knew. In the in-game report interface, both account sharing and multi-logging were in RuneScape 1 listed as rules 6 and 8 respectively, and both continued being listed in the report interface until May of 2009, which is when Jagex overhauled the report interface and grouped the different rules together into the three categories that we know today, which are honor, respect, and security. 
that was a somewhat relevant update and uh, for this topic because that is when account sharing and multi-logging were no longer listed in the report interface even though both were still very much against the rules. The reason why this is somewhat significant is because it may have given the impression that Jagex wasn't so strict anymore when it came to account sharing and multi-logging. And whether that was true or not is very hard to say because Jagex never made any public statements about that at the time. But it's, so the option is certainly there that Jagex did become a little more lenient at that point, but we will never know for sure. At some point after the launch of RuneScape 3 in 2013, however, so that's four years later, Jagex did adopt a more nuanced stance, however, and they also implemented different policies for RuneScape and old school RuneScape which is what probably lies at the basis of some of the differences in opinions that I have seen in the next years about the topic of multi-logging and account sharing. Anyway, so unless mentioned otherwise, the following explanations in this podcast apply to RuneScape 3 only, but I will talk about uh, old school RuneScape as well, so not just RuneScape 3. So if a player visited the rules on the RuneScape website at the end of 2018, because that's when I originally wrote the script, the following rule could be found there. It said, each account should only be used by one person, never share your account with anyone else, doing so will likely get the account banned. Players may not sell, share, transfer or lend their account to anyone else. Players should not accept an account that anybody else offers, as they may be stolen, and this could lead to your own account being disabled. Exclamation mark. That's where the rule ends. This means that account sharing was officially still against the rules in 2018, but Mod Infinity clarified that the rule was in place mainly due to account safety reasons, and he also stated, I want to be clear that we aren't permanently banning anyone where it appears that there's a consensual informal agreement between friends to share accounts for low impact activities. That's where the quote ends. So this suggests that Jagex has become more tolerant of account sharing, but that competing for ranks can still lead to a ban, as well as other high impact activities that have not been further defined. The same applies to old school RuneScape, but Mod Matt K mentioned in 2015 that no one had been banned for account sharing in old school RuneScape yet, and old school RuneScape was two years old at that point. So altogether, Account sharing is still officially against the rules, but it seems correct to say that the rule is not always enforced anymore and that skillers are allowed to share an account today as long as it is not done to compete anywhere for anything. At least that's my own personal conclusion from, uh, from all this, from all what I've read over the past years and from all the information that I was able to combine. So that's for account sharing. Then the rule for multi-logging has changed considerably as well. The rule at the end of 2018 when I wrote this was quite long, so I'm going to read only the relevant bits now. So it begins with, You are free to create as many accounts as you like, and you are welcome to trade between your accounts just as you would with any other legitimate player. Multi-locked accounts must not interact with each other to exploit gameplay mechanics, such as attempting to rig the result of a minigame. You may log into multiple accounts across all versions of RuneScape at the same time. However, any account you are using must not be involved in any rule breaking or exploitative activity. Any penalties or sanctions for such behavior will be applied to all of your accounts. And that's the end of the quote. So that's quite a bit, but this phrasing makes it very clear that multi-logging is no longer fully prohibited, whereas Jagex previously prohibited any form of interaction including drop trading, multi-logged accounts are now allowed to trade with each other and to engage in the same activity on the same server as long as it does not influence the outcome of any competition or minigame. This also means, and um, perhaps this is the most important element in this discussion, that a player is allowed to use one account as a moneymaker while also playing on another account to which all that money would later be transferred, which according to the rule that I have just read is allowed as long as the wealth is not obtained through malicious activities such as botting, hacking, real world trading or scamming. So the player can then use the transferred money to spend it on in-game equipment or resources to train these skills. So as you can see, there is a clear advantage to this type of multi-logging, 
but it is not considered unfair anymore by Jagex, and that's the biggest difference for the multi-logging rule. So, a quick recap. It turns out that Jagex has become more lenient when it comes to both account sharing and multi-logging, but Jagex does still recognize how it could negatively interfere with any type of competition, including the high scores. And that's important, even though I guess high score achievements have become less relevant over the past few years due to so many players already maxing out skills at 200 million XP. And who knows, maybe also this is one reason why the rules have become less strict. So that was a brief history of account sharing and multi-logging. I hope that you enjoyed this podcast. If you did, then I would appreciate it if you gave this video a thumbs up and if you left a comment to share your opinion. So that was all for today. Feel free to follow me on my social media pages. If not, then I guess I will see you next time. Okay, so I am July and I hope that you will come back for more.